So this is just a quick video for my loyal subscribers and VIP members because the stock that we've discussed at length on the channel in recent uh, weeks and months has done incredibly well today and is up over 30% after hours. In fact, it was actually a stock that I covered in my three stocks to watch for October 2020 video, which was released, uh, what was it, like a week ago or so? So, I mean, it's done pretty well and uh, let's go through reasons why. Of course, I'm gonna answer the question what stock this is. I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that actually drove this stock price going up so significantly today after hours. And then I'm going to discuss what my thoughts are on the new valuation of the company and whether I still think that the stock is a buy here in October 2020. So as always, guys, if you appreciate this video, thumbs up helps out a ton. So just hit that like button down below and let's get on with it. Altrix. Altrix is the stock that I'm discussing. The ticker symbol is AYX. And this is a software company that's main focus is on helping companies with their data, specifically with things like Excel to provide data science and analytics so that their customers can better improve their efficiency. Now, I went much, much more in depth with this company in previous two videos that I've made. The first was about a month ago when we saw the stock decline after earnings. And this is when I really took the time to focus on the business, what it does, its fundamentals, financials, and more. So if you are interested in this company from a very deep level here, very low level understanding of everything that's going on behind the scenes, I highly recommend watching that video. Now, like I also said, this was covered in my October three stocks to buy video. I threw Altrex in there as my third pick because I did see the buying opportunity was ripe for the picking and I called this kind of a turnaround play. Many in my VIP group were also very intrigued by the stock and it now resulted in some nice gains. So congrats to everyone in there. And if you are one of my subscribers watching and you know, you saw my video on that stock, you did your own due diligence after that and decided to buy into this company. Congratulations on the gains. Honestly, a 30% gain is nothing to sneeze at, especially when it's in a single day. So give yourself a pat on the back because that is incredible. So, okay, so now I'll spend a few minutes to talk about what happened, what caused this big move up, is it sustainable? And let's kind of go from there. The first piece of news was around a new CEO. Aldrix announced Mark Anderson to succeed Dean Stalker, I think that's how you pronounce it, as a CEO. The market seemed to like this news because of his history and it states here that Mr. Anderson is a seasoned executive with a proven track record. He has worked in previously large companies, including as president of Palo Alto Networks. So this is a big, big move here, making him CEO of Altrix. Just as an aside, Palo Alto is now almost a $25 billion company. So this was definitely not something small that he was part of. It was definitely a very, very successful business. Now here's a statement from the new CEO left with the media and he says that he's honored and excited to be Altrex's new CEO. Digital transformation is accelerating globally and Altrex's product vision and strategic positioning align closely with the market convergence of people, process and data. Building and enabling high performing teams, especially at Altrex's stage, is his profession and personal passion. So it looks to me that he is the right man for the job. He's excited for this new role. The market clearly is also excited for him leading the company here. So that's some really good news. So great, new CEO, proven track record, you know, has a good vision for the company. 30% upwards move, really? Well, there was one more piece of news that I think had more to do with what's happening with the stock after hours than just with the new CEO. In the same press release, Altrex stated that they updated their third quarter financial outlook. They expect for Q3 that just ended, the company will see 126 to $128 million in revenue, which represents a 22 to 24% year over year growth. This is much higher than their previous estimate of 111 to $115 million. Clearly Q3 was a strong one for Altrix. So what happened in Q2 just seemed to be a blip for them. And that seems to be what investors are now banking on. Now, Serious talk, let's look at valuation. Let's see where valuation sits 
after this big move up because let's face it, a 30% move in a small cap company can easily push it from a stock that's undervalued to a stock that's now overvalued. So, so let's talk about this. Prior to this big move, the stock was at around $113.8 per share, putting it at around a $6 billion valuation. This, in my opinion, was too cheap for a business that was purely software based and had extremely good growth prospects ahead of it. So now for our new calculation, let's take the peak of the after hours movement, which was $149.7 per share. So this is kind of like the high end of uh, what the valuation is today. And then if we take what Altrix's outstanding shares are currently of 53.5 million, we can just do some simple math to figure out what their new market cap is. So $149 per share multiplied by 53.5 million shares outstanding. This gives us a market cap of just over $8 billion for Altrix. And this means that in the after hours, this business brought in another $2 billion on this news. This is still, however, lower than its peak market cap, which was well over $10 billion at one point, but it's much higher than its lows just from a few weeks ago. Now for their revenue estimates, this year's expected to be close to around $500 million, you know, because of everything that's going on, it kind of slowed down their growth prospects. And next year, you know, if things go well, they'll hit around $600 million, maybe slightly more than that. So let's use our favorite metric here for growth stocks, which you guys know I use quite often. And I actually go to, it's my go-to metric really for growth stocks, and that's the price to sales ratio. For 2020 price of sales, we take the $8 billion market cap divided by the $500 million expected revenue, and that sits at a 16 price to sales ratio. 2021, same thing. We take the $8 billion market cap divided by the expected $600 million in revenue, and this gives us a price to sales of around 13.3. A price of sales of 13.3 with $8 billion market cap, looking at next year's revenue expected of 600 million, we are getting a bit lofty here. Because of this, I think the stock has now gone from an undervalued growth play to now maybe a fair or possibly, you know, high end of fair, low end of overvalued. Now, I do realize growth companies deserve a premium over, you know, stable blue chip companies and Altrix is getting a pretty hefty premium here. It's trading at a higher price of sales than many other businesses out there because it's a cloud-based company, because they have recurring revenue, because they have you know very low overhead costs but even with all of that considered guys I think the stock is now getting a bit expensive this is just looking at them in the next year just looking at them with the current price sales of 16 with a market cap of 8 billion with the revenue next year expected to hit 600 million I think those metrics are going to be you know challenging for them to hit and sustain which is why I think the stock may be a little overstretched here after this big run. That is not to say if you're a long-term investor, say for the next three to five years in the stock, that the stock should be a sell today. Because if you are looking at this company for the long term, it's still a very small company, $8 billion is peanuts really when we're looking at the grand scheme of things if you believe this company can be you know a 10 20 50 billion dollar giant at some point and that's possible then in that situation it doesn't really make sense to sell right eight billion dollar market cap so you have potential for 20 25 billion dollars of market cap in the next three years there's a lot of upside in that scenario however if you're kind of looking short term you're like i want to see this company go to 200 dollars plus in the next year that may be a bit lofty i don't know if that's to happen anything's possible in the markets but it's unlikely in my opinion it also will heavily depend on how their revenues do for the next few years so keep that in mind a 1 billion dollar revenue uh, income right now would put the price of sales at around an eight with an eight billion dollar market cap that price would be cheap so you kind of have to do some math kind of have to do some thinking where do you see this company going say next year the year after three years five years it, it, do some projection there and try to figure out you know does it really make sense to buy today at eight billion dollars when you could have bought it yesterday at six billion dollars and you chose not to Either way, the purpose of this video is just to provide you guys a quick update and just say congratulations to everyone holding this stock. Like I said, pat yourself on the back. That was an incredible move if you decided to get in before this massive run up. But don't expect this to happen with every single stock, especially with growth stocks. Volatility can be your friends, but also can be your worst enemy if you're not 
patient. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. If you did, smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Either way, don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.